Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christine. I will list all my socials down below. Now today we are in my closet, kind of vlog style. I'm literally just recording on my phone because today we're doing another Crocs video. You guys know I'm going to continue to record Crocs videos because I am obsessed with Crocs. So as long as they keep coming out with new ones that I love, keep buying them. So today I want to show you guys all of my Halloween Crocs. I did not forget I had a few messages in my YouTube as well as on my Instagram. A few of you guys were asking me to do a video of me actually placing gibbets on the Crocs so you guys can see how I style them. I didn't forget that. The problem is I had to wait till Crocs came out with a decent amount of gibbets just so that way I can purchase them as well as a new pair of Crocs. So you guys know I have a lot of gibbets so I had to wait a little while but that's actually going to be my next video i'm going to be decorating the crocs from start to finish so you guys get to see how i decorate them in person well not in person but live <laughs> So that'll be the next video coming up. This one, I'm just going to show you guys my Halloween Crocs because I'm excited. You guys know I have mentioned this countless times. I'm obsessed with Halloween. It's my favorite holiday by far. So I have three pairs of Halloween Crocs. And I wanted to record this in my closet because I did mention in one of my Crocs videos my shoe boxes. So you guys can see what it looks like. So I have shoe boxes like literally all around me. And 98% of them are Crocs. Yes, I know. I have an addiction. So these I actually got from Container Store. I love them because they're drop front. So you don't have to like pick up the few on top to get them out. You literally can just open this and grab it and go. So I love these. They actually make them in clear as well as black. But I got the clear just because to me, I love the clear and I love the way it looks. But the black is really nice as well. So enough talking. I'm going to show you guys my Halloween Crocs. Now I did show this style in my previous video of when I did the shop with me in the croc store if you guys haven't seen that i will link that up above but i changed it around a little bit so i'm going to show you these so remember how i mentioned how i only like to purchase the gibbets from the actual croc website that still is true to a certain extent i noticed these halloween gibbets in a kiosk literally across from the croc store so i went to the kiosk and i purchased a bunch of halloween gibbets only to find out that amazon sells it for a lot cheaper so if you check on amazon they'll have them do a little close-up so after i got a few more of them because you'll notice the difference from my previous video of these i literally took all of the gibbets out and started from scratch and i was sitting here no lie for like 30 minutes if i didn't like one like i felt like it was out of place i removed it and i started over again like that's how finicky i am when it comes to placement of my gibbets that's really why i want to show you guys a video of how i do it so just to show you guys exactly which is officially croc and which is not let me i'm gonna do it one at a time just so you guys can see so so this one is actually glow in the dark it is crocs this 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 is from crocs as well these um nightmare before christmas ones they actually came out this year so if you are by a croc store you should be able to get them they have them um in terms of the fake gibbets that i told you about that i got on the kiosk that would be the nun this it annabelle and the poison apple so these are the fake ones then these gems are officially from croc and so is this jack-o-lantern if you're interested in these gibbets you can check them out on amazon they have a great deal for them i think it's like 12 of them for 15 dollars, something like that something around that line but these are amazing and i think they go perfectly for this shoe on this side this one is official from Crocs. This one is official from Crocs. So is this one, a Binks. This is official from Crocs. So is this. So is this. And this little eyeball is official from Crocs. And so are these gems. The unofficial, oh, this is actually from Crocs as well. So the unofficial ones would be this one, this one, and this one. So this is what they look like.
I love these. I definitely recommend the glitter ones. If you are interested in the glitter ones, the one the good thing I like about them is that they're actually really hard to get dirty. So they don't get dirty as often as the other ones. But you know me, I still clean them, of course. Normally when I clean them, I literally just clean the edges of it because this is so rough and you can't really clean it so that's how i clean it and then the inside of the fur i would just take a damp cloth with some soap and water and wash it through here and let it dry completely that's only like once it gets you know it looks dirty so this is my first halloween pair and my second ones, these are Hocus Pocus. I purchased these in the actual croc store. I did see them on the website. They did kind of like a raffle thing like they don't normally do with a lot of crocs that are on high demand. But I actually got these in the store and I didn't have to worry about a raffle or anything. So if you're in California, in San Diego, they have them in the croc store. So these are the Hocus Pocus ones. Perfect for Halloween, orange, purple are the perfect colors. Now, the thing with these to keep in mind, I didn't notice when I went to the store and purchased them till after I got home, but they came with this one, this one, this one, this, this, and this. Now these, I thought they were gibbets officially, like when I was in the store, but when I got home, I realized they're actually not gibbets. They're kind of... They just stick on there so you can't remove them and place them somewhere else which really sucks for me because you guys know i'm so finicky about my gibbets placements that i really badly wanted to like remove it to put it somewhere else but i couldn't so i had to work around that and just place gibbets where i see fit like the best so i did get this one and these are all official from crocs so i got obviously the cauldron because hocus pocus you know they have a cauldron um potions because they're witches <laughs> this is the actual hocus pocus gibbet and so is this and so is this this is the ink gibbet so this is what they look like a pulse really cute i love them the only other issue as well to keep in mind is that they do run small. I didn't try them in the store, but I just purchased my regular size that I get, the nine and women's. It fits exact on me. Like literally my heel is like right here. And you guys know I like them a little bit bigger. I mean, it's fine because whatever, I, I took them out and I wore them, it's fine. But if you're like me, that you like your Crocs a little bit bigger, I would say go a size up just because they do run small for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. But this is what they look like. And I love them. This is literally one of my favorite Halloween movies. So I had to get them. Now, another one of my favorite Halloween movies that I am obsessed with is Nightmare Before Christmas. I saw these in the store and I was like, oh no, I'm getting them. So these are actually Nightmare Before Christmas Crocs. And the cool thing about this is that the Jack Skellingtons, the big ones here, they glow in the dark. So I thought that was really cute. Again, it's the same situation as the Hocus Pocus ones where these are not actually gibbets. It's kind of like ironed on, you want to say, or sewed on. And you cannot remove them. So this is what they look like. And of course, I placed... Nightmare Before Christmas gibbets on there as well, as well as two gems. This little skeleton hand I thought was really cute. So I put that on there as well. This and the Oogie Boogie. So these are all official from Crocs. I purchased them in the actual store minus this skeleton hand. I didn't find it in store, but I actually found it on the website. So I got that. And that's what they look like. And these, because I know that they ran small, like the Hocus Pocus ones, I got a size 10 in women's. And they fit with a little bit of space, like how I normally love them. So I'm happy about that. But this is what they look like. So I hope you guys loved my little display of my Halloween Crocs. 
my next video, which I will be posting in a day or two, it's going to be another Crocs video and it's going to be how I decorate my Crocs from start to finish. So I am going to decorate them on camera with new gibbets so you guys can see how I place them in what order and basically what's the method to my madness. I hope you guys will stick around for that video. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And if you guys are interested in me recording kind of like a shop with me online for Crocs, please let me know down below. I can let you guys know exactly how I shop for my Crocs and give you guys recommendations as well. So if you're interested in that, let me know down below and I'll be sure to record that as well. And just be on the lookout because the more Crocs that come out, the more I'm most likely going to buy. <laughs> and the more you guys are going to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.